little things to do while we're waiting. I need to just get my thread all prepped and in there. And we'll give everybody a chance to hop on. And I need to pull this up so I can see the chat. <laughs> Hello. All right. I hope you guys are all doing good. It is super windy here today. It would be really nice if there wasn't the crazy wind going. All right. Here it is. <clears throat> Why doesn't it give me the chat this way? All right, let me try something else. Hello, hello, yay. Okay, we got people on here. No, that's not what I want. I just can't figure out how to pull this up on my... <laughs> I'll get it. Give me a second. Great and sunny here oh, in Florida, of course. It's always sunny in Florida. Always. It's sunny here, but it's like super crazy windy, so it just makes it chilly. Hello, Maria. Shell, Valerie, welcome. My hair's kind of poofy right there. Okay, I cannot figure out how to get the chat on here. Look at that. Do you see? It's just got all that. I don't know how to get that to go away. Any any ideas, guys? Any ideas? <sighs> all right, let's try one more way. Hello. Hi, Annette. Sunny and breezy. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, I should have had this pulled up. It usually takes a minute for people to get here. So yesterday I cut out the Alondra from Shambhala and I thought today we could start putting it together. I don't um, know if we'll be able to get it all done in one sitting. We might, we might be able to. Let's see if this way works. Um... Yay, there it is. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, there we go. <sighs> it did that to me yesterday too, and I don't know if it's just the way that I go in to the YouTube. I don't I don't know. All right, I just got to get a bobbin it's here. Let's see if I have one. I think this is the right color. Is this the right color? Yeah. All right. So we are going to try and sew up this Alondra. I did look at how to do the welt pocket for those of you in my thing yesterday. Um, I was like, I don't know how to do this. I've done it before. It's just been a while. So I did kind of read over that and refresh my memory. So we should be good on that, hopefully. Cross my fingers. Um, all right. My bobbin case, thank you. I think I just got that from Amazon. Yeah, it's kind of fabulous. Okay, let me just, I'm gonna get a scrap and just make sure everything is working good here before I actually dig into my bag. Yay, storming here. Peggy, where's here? Oh, Wendy, thank you. Let's see how that looks. I messed with my tension quite a bit lately with that clear vinyl, which is fine, but I need to get it back to where I'm used to it now that I'm not sewing the clear vinyl anymore. So that's a whole thing. Um, <laughs> all right, let me get all of my tools ready to go, all of my marking stuff. All right, that should be good. And here we go. Okay. Yeah, I hate tension issues too. Ugh. 
Stormy and gross in Ohio. Oh, yeah, it's super windy. It must be a thing. There must be some storms rolling through, huh? Okay, so the, here's the bag that we're sewing up. Again, I cut it yesterday in a live. It's super cute. I'm excited. Um, I was missing a couple of pattern pieces. Um, I realized it was my fault. I was missing the gusset, so I'm doing my gusset just a little bit differently. In this pattern, she has you having... Um, lining for the bottom and the exterior for the top piece of the gusset. I'm just doing all exterior. So it's not that huge of a difference. And then my flap strip, I confused with something else. Anyways, it's all here. <laughs> it's all here. Okay. Deep breath. Let's dig in. Okay. I'm going to move you guys. I'm just digging into this because I would like to get it all done. But you know what? And let me, I'm going to get another bobbin going as well. Just, uh, just so I have a spare, just in case I run out. I don't think I will, but I might. You just never know. A bag's usually about one full bobbin. If you're lucky, sometimes you need one more. All right. It never hurts to be prepared, right? There we go. Okay. This is the last of my face you will see. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Let's get a good angle for y'all. That should be good. Let me know if I need to change anything as we go along. All right, I'm not really gonna go over a lot of the pieces just because I did cut them out on the live. Um, I do have my stabilizer for my flap. I'm just going to insert my exterior main panels. I will attach after I assemble the front and back panels. Okay, so those exteriors I will add after we get them all put together. And I'm going to try and just follow um, kind of the pace of her pattern. I don't think I'll skip around at all. So we will just stick to what she's do doing. Um, this is not butter. It's um, just water resistant canvas. Okay. So first I'm going to work on my exterior pocket. So I need those two pieces and I need my gussets, which are right here. <clears throat> which seem like small, but I think they'll be right. All right, so I'm gonna set the rest of this aside here and we're gonna work. So on her pattern, she has these as two different pieces. It's the exterior here and then the lining here and you piece it together. I just did the exterior because I misunderstood pattern pieces and didn't print out the right ones. So it was on me. All right, is this close enough, guys? <laughs> All right, so you wanna take the lining and the exterior first, and we are going to attach those at the top. And sew those together, right sides. All right, and I'm just gonna do them both at once, just so we can get them both done. All right, and just pay attention to your seam allowance. It stays pretty consistent throughout this pattern. Most of her patterns do. Oh, I haven't sat down at my machine in so long. It feels so good. <laughs> it makes me happy, guys. All right, and then you wanna turn the seam allowance. Let's see towards the exterior. Well, that doesn't make sense. Oh, the lining. Okay, and then we're gonna top stitch along the lining. Right, right. Hello from France. All right, so that's what I have so far. 
I'm gonna do the same thing for this other pocket on the other side. I love these pockets. I'm excited to see how they look on the bag. I think it is such a cute addition to it. Hello, hello. All right, and then top stitch this. We got a good crowd going? Yes, we do. Awesome. All right. There's what we have so far. And I, I haven't sewn this up before, just FYI. So I will be, you know, looking at the pattern quite a bit. Um, okay, so now we need our darts, which look like, yep. All right, so now we need to fold these pieces right here and we're gonna sew our darts. And I think it's just the same seam allowance. It says the lines that have been transferred. I didn't transfer lines. I'm just gonna see what we got here. Yep. All right, we can do that. Easy. Hi, Brittany. All right, so we're gonna do that on both pockets, both sides. We are gonna sew some darts, all right? So I am gonna start at the bottom of the dart and go up. I think that is the easiest way to do this. You wanna shorten your stitch length for this. Now, do darts need to be perfect? Not really, but there's mine. All right, so I'm gonna do that on all four sides. Silly question, but what country is Shambhala from? She is, ooh, that is a great question. Um, Sammy, Sammy, where are you from? I know this. Is it France? I wanna say it's France, I could be wrong. Anybody know? That's not a silly question, Marion. But I think it's France. Patterns are in English and French. Yeah, I think it's France. I think she's from France. Yeah. No, it's not Africa. All right. So there is my first pocket. And then when we sew them, we're going to put them together like that. Okay. So it's going to be the lining is gonna be a little bit below. I say France too, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, match the darts, wrong size, yeah. Okay, so now we're matching our darts and I'm guessing, how should we do this? Should we nest them? Should we, I'm going to flatten my seam allowances to match them. I think that might be the easiest, like that. All right. We don't work with darts much, huh? I haven't done a bag with darts in a while. I do like them. Muriel, I agree, I love learning new things. Hopefully I'm teaching it correctly. <laughs> so I'm just flattening my darts and lining up my seams. That seems to, um, that seems to match up the best for me. All right, okay. So now they're together. And then you're gonna just kind of fold it up to where that fold is, right? Again, it's not gonna line up with where your seam is here. It's gonna be a little bit above and that's correct. And then we want to top stitch that, yes. Then we want to top stitch that. Okay. 
I suppose you probably could top stitch around. Yeah, we're supposed to stitch this first. So we're going to baste this together. Oh, I've clipped it and then I'll top stitch that top part. Columbia, thank you, Joni. I think that is correct, Columbia. Thanks for looking. She's super sweet and awesome. Um, Sammy, the designer, and I love her patterns. And now we want to top stitch. I'm going to just come on in. All right, that looks awesome. So that's my first pocket. Yes, yes, love it. All right, I can probably trim up those little. All right, I'm gonna set that aside and do the same thing for this pocket. So I gotta do the darts and then put it all together. All right, I'm just gonna fold them as I go. And I like to do a smaller stitch length for these darts. So I go about to a four to four and a half for these darts. Uh, Louise, you should do this bag. It's super cute. I haven't linked anything yet, the pattern or anything, but after this live is done, I will get those all I'll get it all linked for you down there. Her website is easy to find. Thank you, Brittany, my linking queen. Trimming is called cutting off dog ears. I like that. Okay, I cut off the dog ears. Hmm not my dog's ears. That would be sad. <laughs> I'm a dork. <laughs> All right. Other one. Here we go. And then I want to put these together. Hi, Amber from Southern California. I bet it's beautiful there. I was in Florida and it was nice, but it was so hot. <laughs> I just need like 60s to 70s year round. That's all I want. Hello, Terry. All right, match my other one up here. All right, and now we're gonna repeat. These are cute pockets. All right, let's baste this. Hello, Bonnie from South Dakota. All 
Okay, trimming off the dog ears, as Peggy calls it. All right. Now we want to put these on our cute little gussets. So I am just going to mark my center so I can line it all up. And I'm just going to go ahead and mark my top too. And while I've got it here, because I do have to put connectors on, so I'm just going to go ahead while it's flat. I'm actually going to get a different pen and mark my center for my connectors. Okay. And here. And here. I gave my dogs a couple of rawhide bones and they are so quiet. I can hear them in just chewing. <laughs> They're so happy. Uh. Okay. And then I want to mark the center of this bottom pocket here. All my centers. All right, so I'm gonna line that up first down here. My center's together. And then you just kinda fit that as best you can right there. It's not gonna go all the way to the corner, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to. Let me double check, yep. Yeah. It looks good like that. All right, just get it as close as you can. And she says don't trim that either because you're gonna need that for the assembly of the rest of the bag. <clears throat> Let me just try and get this to go a little bit closer. Looks good. All right, so that is how it should look. Sorry about that, my son tried calling. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to baste that on, right? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Um, this is, yes, this is Kaya, um, material from Indo Love. I love it. Okay. That looks cute. That's going to be so cute on the side of the bag. All right. Next one. Next one. Here we go. Same thing. Second verse, same as the first. Hi, Kelly. Do you use Wonder Clips or some other brand? You know what? I have such a mix of different clips. I have no idea what's in here. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't answer that. I use whatever clips. I got at the time. They're all meshed together. 
I have some of Lauren's clips. I have some off of Amazon. So I'm not sure. But I'll tell you what, they all break just the same. Doesn't matter what kind they are. I do know that much. All right, here we go. Thank you, Brittany. Yeah, I have all the tools that I like to use on that Amazon list. A lot of them that I'm using for this bag, they're on there. those two cute pockets. All right, so now I need to put on my connectors, which I'm just using these pronged connectors. So I got to figure out how far down. I'm guessing probably about right there because I do not have the pattern piece printed out for the connector part. So I'm going to put mine about an inch and a quarter down. All right, so I saw these on my website and I'm currently getting a restock of all of them. So they should be restocked within probably the next week or so. Super excited for that. Okay. And I'm gonna put some extra reinforcement just because I'm crazy like that and like to have the extra because <laughs> I'm extra. <laughs> All right. So I like to take, so usually it's the um, first and the second to the last on these washers. Yep. Okay. So that's my um, lineup for that. So I want to do one and a fourth down right there. And one and a fourth down. And I've already got my centers marked because I did that earlier. All right. So I just line this up and I center the washer on top there. And I'm just going to put a line there and a line there. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. Second to the last there and the top there. And then I wanna do the same for this Peltex that I'm gonna use. These are my favorite connectors too, Brittany. I do want to get try a different style. So I may be trying a different style soon. Um Henny. Endo Love is only an hour away from you. Does she have like a storefront? I didn't know she had a storefront or not. That'd be awesome to go visit. Hi Karen. All right, I'm just placing my marks. There we go. All right, let's put these connectors on. They look good. I want to do my Peltex behind. And then my connector or my washer. I'm going to fold my prongs in. <laughs> Charlie, no storefront, but if you camp out on her front lawn, you might be able to get a sale before the cops arrive. <laughs> Charlie, do it. I want to hear all about it. <laughs> That's funny. 
All right, and then this one here, and then this. Okay. And then I want to cover that up. You always want to cover up prongs because you don't want them rubbing against the other materials in your bag. So just, you can use duct tape. I use this thick double-sided tape and I don't take off the other side. It's super sticky. So it stays where I put it. It's up to you. Hello, Lynette. Okay, cute. There are my side gusset pieces. And now we're gonna connect it, right? Bottom piece. Our seam allowance on this bottom piece is bigger, so pay attention to that. And here is my bottom piece. All right, here we go. We're gonna connect them at the bottom here, corner to corner. Bigger seam allowance. All right. Let's do it. Okay, Natalie, I have just only done the sides, so you have not missed much. This, you know, you're going to have to have, you're sewing over that dart and those materials, so you're going to be sewing through quite a bit of um, material with that. So just be aware. All right. And then we're going to fold it. So our seam is spacing down and we're going to top stitch along this bottom piece that we just added. Whenever you top stitch, you're usually stitching through that seam, like that seam allowance that you just sewed almost always. Cause it's kind of like an extra reinforcement to all of that. Just a little tip. All right, so there's that. So now I wanna attach the other side here. What color is your lighter material? It's called butterscotch on her um, website. It is butterscotch. There goes a clip for Oakley's mouth. All right. Natalie, thank you so much. All right, and then we want to top stitch. All right. So there is my gusset piece all assembled. Should look like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I know I'm gonna need this for assembly. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the centers on this bottom piece here. And then we will continue to another part of the bag. I think we're gonna do the flap next. All right, I'm gonna put this aside. Beautiful, I'm gonna get a drink, excuse my face. My throat gets dry with all the talking. All right, here we go. What do we got now? Flap. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. So here are my flap pieces. And I need 
And this as well. This is my flap strip. So yesterday I read this and I didn't see the fold here. <laughs> And when I saw a flap strip, I thought it meant it was going on the back of this flap to cover up the raw edge. I was wrong. It was for these, for they go along this flap. So that was my confusion yesterday with that. All right. So we want to make these cute little flappity flaps here. Uh, mark our center line. How big is this? Of course, it's an odd size. And I'm just marking my centers here. because my brain can't do the math and we're gonna go like that. Looks good. It's a little bit more than three fourths. There we go. I'll take some tape. Got a brand new sticky roll here. And I suppose this doesn't have to be perfectly centered either, but it's close enough, right? <laughs> Mine doesn't math either. Yeah, I, I struggle with the math, you guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to fold your raw edges in. We are going to be cutting this piece in half, if you're wondering. <laughs> this is going to be cut in half. Hmm. Yes, I embroidered the flap, Brittany. This is like an old um, panel that I did a while ago that I haven't found a use for, so I'm excited for it. Thank you, thank you, guys. Um, I did this, um, the same person that I bought this design for, was the one that I used on the Danbury tote that I did a tutorial for a while ago. So the link to buy these um, embroidery designs is on the Danbury tote uh, description. So just FYI. All right, so now we wanna cut these into two. Um, what kind of, I used a non tearaway stabilizer for this one and it worked pretty dang good. All right, and then I wanna put some tape on the back of these. Just a second. I want to see how this lock goes on because does it just screw on to the edge of the... Oh, it must. So I bought these thumb locks. Oh yeah, it just screws on to the edge. So yeah, perfect. Okay, sorry. I wanted to make sure these didn't need to be longer to attach the lock to and it doesn't. All right, so I am going to, let's see, I'm going to fold this here. And, hi sister. So I can line that up. I'm using a chalk pen because I feel like that'll probably come off of this the best. So I'm gonna do that there. And then here. Okay. 
Okay. Hi, Sharon. Welcome. Charlie, I know. I love embroidery so much. I really do need to get more into it. It is very enjoyable. Okay, so I want to go on the inside of that line there. It fits right in between my embroidery pattern kind of perfectly. I need to move it up just a little bit, just a second. Right there. Right? Yes, because you want it kind of coming out. All right. I do need to get some markings off of this. Hopefully that silver pen comes off, right? It should. Yeah, I think it will. All right. Sorry, that was gross. I licked it. <laughs> I licked it, guys. <laughs> I think we all have done that. All right. Cute. Oh, my gosh. How pretty is that? <laughs> I love it. All right, so now you want to sew down. We want to sew that down? Yes, we want to top stitch down each side of this little flap strap. What size hoop did that take? Um, it was my biggest size, which was, ooh, what's my biggest size? I think it's six by 10, but the pattern comes in different sizes for different hoops. So you don't have to do this big. You can do a smaller one. Again, I have it linked in the Danbury Tote Butte, um, Tutorial. Tony, bags are so addicting. I started sewing quilts and bags occasionally, and now quilts are on the side. <laughs> That's what happened to me, too. <laughs> I have so many unfinished quilts. Someday. Do you use WPC to make your binding pieces, Sharon? Yeah, I have. I have, I have. Did I do that right? Yes. <gasps> Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, she fits perfectly. She needs a name. We need to name her. Okay. <gasps> Here we go. We want to put these, wait. Yes. Um. Let's see. Should I put my label here? This is where she says to put it. Yeah, that'd be cute, right? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Maybe. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna put this cute little nameplate. I'm so excited I'm getting matte black ones sent to me with this next round. I can't wait to get my matte black ones. All right. 
What did Wanda say? That's funny. I missed it. What? I'm just trying to make sure it's centered because I'm weird like that. Oh, you're naming my embroidery. I totally missed that. Duh. I'm the one who even said it. No, I don't like Wanda. Alona. Yeah, well, I mean, how about, I don't know. I'm not good at names. Does that look even? That looks pretty even. Call her Wanda. <laughs> Susan, what if I don't want to? <laughs> she needs an exotic name. I agree. She looks very exotic, guys. She looks like she's seen things. She's been out in the world. You don't even know. <laughs> Fiona. I like, see, Susan. I like Fiona. I'm sorry. I don't like your Wanda. I love you though. Esmeralda. There you go. All right. Esmeralda, Susan. She shall be named Julieta. Ooh, see, I like that too. Dang. Esmeralda. We got a winner. <laughs> uh, okay. She's Esmeralda, guys. It's official. All right. I'm folding the prongs in again because I don't want them out in my seam allowances. Zelda. <laughs> Goddess Alondra. You guys are good. Tess. Name her Tess. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. There's that. Now I'm going to sew these two together. I am not doing a raw edge. I am doing a finished edge. I'm pretty sure this will turn nicely. I don't have my interfacing in it yet. I'm going to slip it in after the fact. And I think we should be good. All right, here we go. <sighs> Hi, Wendy. And I think it's just a little seam allowance. Yes, it is. Here we go. And don't sew along the top. Hi, Denise. Welcome. You're not that late. We're what, 48 minutes? Okay. <sighs> My husband heard me say Leilani out loud and says it means, oh, how does he know that? Karen, that's funny. <laughs> Leilani is one of my niece's middle name. And her mom is from Hawaii. 
so that makes sense. <sighs> hello. Hello, hello. All right, Ravon is here. Ravon has a fabulous channel. If you haven't checked her out, go check her out. How are you doing? All right, so I am pinking these curves because we want them to lay nice. They will play nice with us. And that should do it. <clears throat> that should do it. All right. Some cute floral or vines down the blue stripes of the flap would be so cute. Brittany, yes, it would. Yes, it would. Okay. Turn it out. Wooka, wooka, wooka. Here we go. Ravon, why don't you, or Brittany, can you link her channel? It's Love Lola, I'm pretty sure, right? They are, Heidi, they are Kai Pinking Shears and they are fabulous so far. I had to just take the plunge because I love my Kai scissors so much. I thought, well, might as well get some pinking shears. There you go, everybody go check out her channel. It's great. She's got some good content for y'all. Look at that. Oh, she's pretty. Just a minute. Miss little Esmeralda. I like Esmeralda, that's her name. She shall be called Esmeralda, guys. Because my sister would be mad at me if I didn't. <laughs> Esmeralda. <laughs> all right. Trying to get this all nice. Kasaya, my kids ask why you are talking to that fabric. <laughs> why not, guys? Why not? Uh, yes, um, Ravon. Brittany's just like the linking queen. She's so freaking fast with all the links. It's amazing. She links it before I even think it. <laughs> all right. Ah, that's so pretty, guys. Look at Miss Little Esmeralda. All right. So I actually want to shove in that. Decaville, I believe. Let's do that. Where is it at? In my pile here. She's a hot tamale. Yes, she is. Ay, ay, ay. Uh -oh. We talk to fabric because fabric understands us and doesn't judge, judge us. Uh, oh, so true, Charlie. So true. All right, let's see if I can fit this Decaville in there. I shouldn't have put these on yet, but that's okay. Facts, Charlie, for reals. Just trying to get that down as close as I can to the seams there. It fits perfectly. Yes. Yes, queen. As my 17-year-old says to me all the time. Yes, queen. All right. Just a minute. I don't like the way this looks. Pop that out a little bit more. Good. If you think it, Brittany will link it. <laughs> 
Susan, that needs to be her shirt. Oh my gosh, that's it. If you think it, Brittany will link it. I can hear the wind outside. I'm shocked you guys can't. It is so freaking loud. I was a little bit worried it would mess with my internet, but it hasn't yet. Knock on wood. I'm just trying to get some really good um, seams here for my top stitching. All right. Phew. Pink, we're there. Let's top stitch this beauty. All right. Mm -hmm. I love that, actually, if you think it, Brittany Malinka. <laughs> Susan's got you. She's going to write you a song, Brittany. Oh, man. Susan and I had like an hour and a half business call this morning. It was crazy. I feel like it was very productive, though. Huh, Susan? Concentrating, sorry, I can't look up while I concentrate. good to sew this top shut. <laughs> Come to the hive. Join the live. If Kasaya thinks it, Brittany will link it. <laughs> Esmeralda all put together and then the little thumb um, clasp will go right there and right there. Ah, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Put that aside. No, don't put that aside. Just kidding. Get that out. All right, so we need our back pieces here. Okay, here we go. I want to mark some more centers. I already got that one kind of marked. Let's mark this one. And here. And then this one. All right, so now we want to take this back top panel and our flap. So this is going to be right side up. This is the top and this is the bottom side of it. We're going to put the raw edge of the flap with the bottom part of this, okay? And we're gonna baste that first, right? Yes, correct, I think so. Do I know for sure? We'll find out, okay. Let's baste this first. Oh, 
And then, right? Yes. And then we want to take, it's not, it's right. Then we want to take this piece right sides together here. This is the back part of the bag. This is right. And we're going to go like this. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, Lynette looks wrong. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure this is right because when this is done, this goes down like this. That's the back of our bag and this flaps over like this. This is right. Okay. Let me just make sure my seam allowances are correct. Yes. Here we go. Rayvon, I've totally messed up on many lives. You don't, you shouldn't stress about it. It happens. I've gotten out my seam ripper many times on a live. Okay. And then you want the seam allowance towards this back panel here. And we're going to top stitch along this back panel. Okay. <laughs> Diana, my seam ripper hates me so much that he took off. So that is my back panel, right? So this flap will come over to the front. Miss Little Esmeralda, she says, hello. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little creepy. All right, here we go. Um, I just have too much weird fun sometimes. Our next pieces, let's do it. We have got, do I add the thumb locks first or after? After. So this is where our thumb lock is gonna be. Which I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that there. So I can put the markings and transfer it onto my piece when we're done, okay. Um, no, we're supposed to make the mark now. So let's do it now. So this is for our little thumb locks for the flap, okay? So here and here, I'm gonna use my little silver pen. You get it? Come on. All right, so there's one. Hello. Welcome. Sounded like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's a good movie. All right, so there are my thumb locks. Put that on first. Here we go. Did you measure your flap for your embroidery emplacement? Um, you know, Esmeralda's head might get uh, put up a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. I kind of folded it to test it out. And I think she'll be okay. Okay, what here? Sorry, I'm just, I just got to make sure that my brain is doing this correctly real quick. That's correct, correct? All right, here we go. So we want to do them right sides together. And line that up. 
Less of an updo and more of the over-the-top do. <laughs> exactly, Charlie. I knew what I was doing, right? All right, so you want to sew this on. Hi, Ogres. Hi. Hi, baby. Okay. And then we're going towards the side panel and top stitching on that. Hi, baby. Oakley's new favorite thing to do when I leave a bathroom door open is to my toilet paper holders. You can just slide off the toilet paper. There's no like, you know, spring or anything. She takes the whole roll of toilet paper off and starts just shredding it all throughout the house. So when I showered today, I came out of my shower and there was shredded toilet paper all over my house. Second day in a row that's happened. She's awesome. Good thing she's cute. All right. And then this one here. Toilet paper party. I mean, she's like, it's your fault. You didn't close the door. Right? What a turd. And then Marley May just kind of stands there like, I didn't do it. <laughs> All right. Oakley is special. Yes, she is. <laughs> oh, man. Seriously. I do love her, but man, she's giving me a run for my money. Testing my patience. Okay, before I put those thumb locks on, actually... I'm gonna put my Decaville on because I want to use my heat press. <laughs> Marley May cannot reach in that. No way. <laughs> How old is Oakley? She will be a year on the 20th of this month on, on 420. <laughs> okay, so I am going to head over to my press over here. You see it right there? Okay. And I'm just gonna put on these stabilizer pieces real quick. So you get to see me just walk on over there and put on my stabilizers. All right, look at my messy zippers. Look at those zippers, man. Who wants to come organize those? Man. All right. Here we go. I have this nice and heated up.
Okay. Should be good. Beautiful. Back to here. All right. Back on here, is that good? Oops, sorry. Do you need to loosen your heat pressure? Maybe, but like, I didn't push it down right away all the way because I didn't want uh, it to hurt the vinyl, so. I don't know, I don't know. Um, what My dog loves my socks, so does Oakley. She loves every type of sock you bring her. Or she finds, I should say. All right, so I got to remark these silly little marks. That's okay. That's okay. Here we go. Let's try this again. All right. Beautiful. It's actually much better. And then this one. And then we need to add these thumb locks. I have never done these thumb locks before. This is a first for me. So, no, it wasn't giving me House of Brittany. I was just doing it gently so it didn't press my vinyl too much. Okay, I've got a mess over here that I need to clean up real quick. Clean up all of my pattern pieces that I have out and don't need. Okay, that's better. Here we go. My thumb locks. So I got these from Emmeline. I might be getting some in myself though um, on my website. So I'm not sure these ones, prongs go up and down. So where's my placement supposed to be? Just a second. Hmm. I wonder. Why do I only have? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Placement is across the top bar. Okay. Thank you, Ravon. So like... Look at, oh, like this, that's how it goes. Okay. So across this top prong, you mean? Like on the bottom piece. Placement is across the top bar on the bottom piece. Okay. So one, two, and one, two, three. So right there. Cause that's my top, that'll be my top prong right there. Okay. Yeah, along here, right? Well, let's hope I do this right. Like I said, I haven't done one of these before. So that is where, no. Where does it go? The bar that goes across the lock, this. The bottom lock piece, got it. Okay, so that's where I want this to be. Not the washer, got it, okay. But how do you line that up so it's correct? So that is one, about one line below, okay. I see what you're saying, Ravon. Okay, so I'm gonna do it right down there because that's about where the lock is if I were to put the prong one up. Let me 
right there and right there. Okay, got you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We'll figure this out together, right? All right, so this wants to be there. And then this here. And one, two, three down here. Hello, Rebecca. Rayvon saving the day for real. So I was like, wait, what? That lines up. Okay, so she's saying this bar here needs to be where this line is on your piece. So work it out to where you're marking your prongs to where this will lie where that line is. I got you. Took me a minute. I'm glad you were here. <laughs> I'm glad you were here today. All right, I'm gonna put a little extra Peltex behind too because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> I know. Uh, she was trying to tell me. Uh, we got it. We got it. It's all good. <laughs> At your service. <laughs> Rayvon, we should do a little joint live together. That would be fun. All right. Here we go. So my marking is here and here. Well, fingers crossed this all lines up, right? I know everybody's like, what is she doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's funny. Right there. Come on. It didn't cut through. There. Yes, they line up. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Ravon, for saving my bag. For saving Esmer Esmeralda, thanks you. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, Ravon, message me and we'll set something up. That would be fun. All right. <laughs> we figured it out, everybody. We're good. <laughs> oh. I'm excited for these thumb locks since I've never used them before. This is a new, new piece of hardware for me to use. Can't lose the screws for the other part, though. Come on. Okay, I can't lose these, guys. I'm going to set these right here very nicely. Okay. Let's do this side. Make sure you do it the right way. Wait, which way? This way. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Although I'm going to move that down one so it's not going over too far. Okay. I think we've got it, you guys. I think it's fine. <sighs> Cover some prongs here. Right. There we go. 
ta-da. Well, I either did it or I didn't. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, okay, so we want to add everything together, you guys. Here we go. So I'm going to take this with my gusset. So fancy. Love it so much. So much. Here we go. Let's do it. We're going to add a gusset to the main panel. Get all of my clips out. I love Shambhala style too, Brittany. Seriously. It's kind of the best. All right, so here we go. We're going to add our gusset to these front and back panel pieces. How are we doing on time? What time is it? 81 minutes. Not bad. All right, then I'm gonna take this up to the top here and match this up because then it'll help with where my curves need to be down at the bottom. It's all gonna work out, you guys. We'll get it. I'll probably have to do, well, I don't know. I don't think I need to have clips in my gusset, actually. Nope. Time to keep going. <laughs> okay, I won't stop. I don't have to pick up any kids until 3 o'clock. So, what time is it? Oh yeah, we got plenty of time, guys. Plenty of time. All right, just getting that all clipped in there. Let's go to the other one. Here. It's a lot of, um, it's kind of exhausting to sit and sew a bag like this from beginning to end on a live, when I'm done, I have to sit and just decompress for a minute because it's kind of mentally, you know, exhausting being on for that long. <laughs> so I usually go lay down after I'm done with a live. <laughs> Stare at a blank wall, yes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sew that on. Let me double check my seam allowance. No, nope. come here. Okay, so I'm gonna do two rows of stitching because that's what I like to do so my seams don't kind of, um, pull when the bag is turned through. Okay. So I'm going to do my first row here. Here we go. Hmm. I have to do that even when I'm not live for reals. 
Oh, I do too. Uh, Lynette, think of all the fun you provide and love that comes your way. Yes, I know it. I do. I really do enjoy doing the lives. Like it's probably my favorite now. Um, as opposed to pre-recording, I would much rather do lives. But um, it's just surprisingly tiring on my my mental <laughs> on my mental state. But I do prefer doing the lives. Okay, so looks good, looks good. Um, just checking all my work here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a second row of stitching right next to that first one. I start kind of down so I can still flatten my seam at the top if needed. And this helps with your stitches pulling when you turn the bag out if you have a second row right by it. So I'm gonna do that, okay. Um, Rebecca, I'm not sure how big these uh, pockets are. I don't think they're big enough for a phone. Um, where's my case? I don't know where my... I always lose my phone case, guys, when I do these lives. Oh, here it is. I have the big daddy of smartphones. And it fits in before... Before we sew on the other side, but I don't think it's going to fit once we sew on the other side. <laughs> All right. So here we go. There's our first. <gasps> so cute, you guys. I freaking love this. Okay. I'm going to sew on the other side now. So same thing. Um, it's to the right of the original stitch. Yes. Correct. The second row of stitching, yes. I really find that it helps with the stitches um, pulling when you turn it. So I like to do it on most of my bags. I turn my head with the curves. That's funny. I, <laughs> I never noticed. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And then this side here. You know, if your um, gusset doesn't fit just right, you can always clip your um, your gusset to stretch a little bit, but mine seems to be okay. So it's kind of a big curve. It's not very sharp, so I think you'll be okay. We 
have to go turn up my heat. It's really cold down here and I am freezing. My hands are, my hands are cold guys. All right. Yeah, her patterns, I rarely have issues with the gusset not fitting perfectly on her patterns. She's just amazing. Just a second. I'm going to go turn up the heat in my basement because I'm freezing. Hold, please. Okay, and you know what? Huh. My bag's empty. I was gonna get a chocolate, but my bag's empty. I already ate it. Just a second, I need a chocolate break. I've got this huge box from Margaret. Look, I'm digging into these now. Um, Margaret, you should get a Shambhala. She is, her patterns are so gorgeous. Everybody take a break and eat a piece of chocolate. It's needed. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Mmm. Hot cocoa, yum. I could use some hot, some kind of hot drink right now. All right. Here we go, guys. Hi, Oakers. Margaret, you really can't. Her patterns are amazing. Poor Susan missing out on the candy. <laughs> Lynette, she'll survive. I won't eat it all. She might be coming in a couple weeks. I'm sure I'll have one or two pieces left for her. <laughs> I did exercise this morning, so... I don't feel as guilty having a piece of chocolate. Let me have to redo that little curve. The, the curve on this is a little difficult. It's not horrible, but. <sighs> Kathy, you cut your finger and got four stitches? Oh no. I am so sorry. That is no good. No bueno. We need a chocolate break every live. You know what, Pammy? I'm pretty sure I do take a chocolate break every live. <laughs> so. Uh. check this corner. Mm, I don't love it. I'm just gonna go over this little corner real quick.
All right. Did you do a video on the embroidery? No, I did not. That was an old pattern I did along with the Danbury tote one. Um, but I, I will probably be doing more embroidery um, videos soon. I really like it. All right. I'm just doing my second row of stitching now. Spencer Og has biscuit breaks in her pattern. <laughs> okay. I like that. Chocolate break in all my lives from here on out. Unless I go on some kind of strange, crazy diet, which let's be honest, probably won't happen. this out and see what we have guys here we go here we go do I trim it at all just a minute repeat no we're good all right it's a pretty small seam allowance oh uh, thank you Brittany Margaret, I promise you I will share some of that chocolate with Susan. I will not eat it all. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think I will. <laughs> I guess never say never. Maybe I will. Oh, my stitching pulled right there. It's okay on that side. stitching pulled just a little right there but I think when it's all sewn together it'll be okay all right let's see what we got you know I didn't use a heavier um interfacing in my bottom piece and maybe I should have oh my goodness look how pretty that is so cute Okay, let's see. She does say right here that you need to trim it down. So, because this needs to be even. Do you see how it's, I think it'll be okay. So you're supposed to trim it even like that. So it's straight across. All right, so I'm gonna do the other side like that. So we want to just so now it's even look how gorgeous that's gonna be with our little thumb locks right there ah okay I you know at first I wasn't going to um do the black right here but it was an accident <laughs> for the black and I kind of really like how it brings that front black to the side I really like that. Okay. Thank you guys. Oh, thank you. All right. Guess what? We're going to go to, oh, does the phone fit now? Let's see. I don't think so. I doubt it. 
And I've got the biggest. Oh, maybe. Guys, the phone fits. Huh. It's the perfect size. Okay. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's go to our lining. Now, we get to do we get to do a welt pocket. I haven't done a welt pocket in a long time. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's see. One and a half. Okay. So let's get all of our pieces for this welt pocket. That's my gusset. That's my gusset. And that's my welt pocket. Okay. Well, Margaret, either I'll do it right or I'll do it wrong. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Um, let me pull up my welt. So she has a separate link for the um, welt pocket assembly. All right. So it's just a separate. It's not directly in the pattern, but it's there. All right. So here we go. And I kind of read over it before this live. So I do somewhat know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I haven't done it. It's a, it's a lot like a zipper pocket, guys. It's, it's not that. My zipper facing is right here. Okay. So I want to put it down here. And then here's my center here. And then I want to draw on this. about five eighths of an inch from each edge I believe and then three fourths here okay so this part is just like you're putting on a zipper for anything else that you're being you do okay so I've got my markings I've got it centered I've got it down I am gonna put this on, line it up, and then I'm gonna sew around that just like I would for a zipper pocket. All right, I'm gonna sew around my rectangle there. Let's move this in a little bit more. Sorry, I think I moved it up a little. Er. Okay, here we go. And now we want to cut the center of this just like we would a zipper pocket, right? You want those Y seams at the end. And we're going to cut through. Just 
like that. And this one right here, just like that. Okay, and then you want that to the back. And I'm gonna heat up my iron real quick. Because we do need to press it. Oh, I didn't cut it right there. All the way through, just a minute. There we go. I'm gonna press it to the back. Or eat, or eat. This is a little bit tricky to press, but we'll get it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna just take that to the iron real quick and I'm not gonna take the camera over, but um, I'm just gonna give that a little heat and get that to stay where I want it. <laughs> I know everybody's so quiet, huh? All right, just a second. Let me press this. I'm covering it with a Teflon sheet before I press. Since it is somewhat of a water resistant canvas. It's not really wanting to press. <laughs> we'll get it. Okay, while that sits for a minute, um, I'm going to get my Walt pocket strip. I, so I wasn't thinking at the time, I don't want this. I think I wanna do the blue. So I'm gonna go get a piece of the blue real quick and cut it out. Cause I think that would look better, that turquoise -y. And it would be that contrast against the black. No pressure or anything, right? Never pressure. <sighs> Don't you think this would look better? I think so. Don't cut my fingers. Don't cut my fingers. Yeah, I like the contrast. Okay. Let's do that instead. Love it. All right, let me grab my piece here. See, looks good. All pressed to the back. All right. My sister bought some WRC from Amazon for an H2O to go. Oh, yeah. You never know what kind of quality you're getting, I guess, right? Okay, so you want to fold this in half wrong sides together. I'm just putting some double-sided tape instead of glue. Hopefully I will do this correctly. Yes, that is a rainbow blade in that rotary cutter. It's pretty, but it didn't stay sharp for long, so. All right, now you want to put this along here. So this is my folded edge here, and this is the opening. And 
it says about an eighth of an inch down from the opening of the pocket, okay? So I'm gonna take some more tape along there to place it. I'm gonna turn it this way so I can see kind of a little bit better where I'm lining. See, and mine isn't totally straight along the top, but that's okay. I'm gonna place it about right there because when it's turned over, look at that. That's pretty. Okay. Then I want to take more double-sided tape and my pocket. And I want to put it on the um, bottom and top of this pocket. So on each end, you want to put some double-sided tape. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so first you're going to lay, so my lining is right side down, okay? And then I'm gonna take one part of that tape off and I'm going to lay it on the bottom part of this facing, okay? Down here. And then I'm gonna flip it over like that and I'm going to sew along the bottom um, edge of this opening that we have all right now if you're really concerned about your threads you can um, pull them through and tie mine matches pretty well I'm just gonna backstitch I just don't care that much <laughs> the contrasting I don't have a contrasting thread all right Right? Am I doing this right? I think I am. Here we go. You know, if I was really thinking about it, I should have put a cute tag with this too, but that's okay. That's okay. Here we go. Ooh, I love it too, guys. I love it too. All right. Okay, I did it along the bottom. Here's my pocket. That's what it looks like from the top, right? So now you wanna fold this down. And you wanna take this and put it on the top. Guys, this wasn't hard at all. Look at that, okay? And now I wanna do from here, do I do there? Let me see. I would think so. Yep. So I'm gonna start here and come up and down and back over here connecting all of my stitches. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute and easy. Don't let it scare you. Look at that. Look, that's adorable. All right, now we wanna sew up our sides, right? Yes, ma'am, let's sew these sides up.
Yeah, right? That color change had to be done. It wouldn't have looked, it wouldn't have looked cute with the black. It definitely needed to be a contrast. All right, you guys, that was not hard at all. I know I've done this before, but it's been a long time. There is my cute little welt pocket, adorable. All right, we're learning new things today. How about that? <laughs> okay, so you buy a lane. Um, you could always put a, another slip pocket on the other side. I'm just leaving it like that. So now we want to do our gusset pieces and let me make sure, let me go back. And okay. Um, Okay, so on this part, I think we did that bigger seam allowance, didn't we? So we need to do that bigger seam allowance again. Here we go. I know, that was super cute, huh, guys? I really liked that. I might do that on more of my pockets, too. stitch. I think we're going to finish this whole bag. How about that? Whoop, whoop. That's always a good feeling. All right. Other side. stitch. All right. And then we just need to add our gussets together. We're leaving a hole, I'm guessing, in the bottom. Let me clip my centers. And I think with this um, lining, we start at the normal seam allowance and then we get a little bit bigger around and then we go back to our normal just to make it so the lining isn't baggy inside of your bag. It's always a good thing. And then I think I have my other one already clipped. All right, so lining, opening in the lining. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Drink break and let's clip it. Okay. So now we're just repeating how we assembled our exterior and we're doing this lining, but remember to leave one side open because we will be pulling our bag through one side. Normally I like to leave a zipper pocket open as well uh, to pull the lining through and close it, but we're not doing that this time. But if I were to make this bag again, I would probably leave that pocket open on the bottom and uh, do the double pull, double pull through, <laughs> if that's even a thing. I just made it a thing, it's a thing now. All right. Ooh, that sounded like it was gonna break, I bet it was. 
Hello, Darlena. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, I think Brittany's still here. Thank you for helping out, Annette. My admins are awesome, everybody. Tell them all thank you. They're so great. All right, so let's do that. So I'm going to start at the regular seam allowance, and then I will increase my seam allowance throughout most of it and then return to the normal at the end. Oh, increase. <laughs> I just said I would do it and then I forgot. <laughs> oh, that's about right. I start to get a little forgetful at the end here. We can do it. Bye, Annette. Thank you. Brittany with the trigger finger. Seriously. She's amazing. back to that normal seam allowance up here at the top. Should be good. Darlena, I'm attempting to make my first bag this week and that's awesome. You can do it. It's super fun and addicting. You won't want to stop. <laughs> right, everybody? <laughs> All right, so on this side, I will leave an opening in my bag lining. A small wristlet is a perfect thing to start with. Good call. You can do it. I love a good wristlet. All right, so now I gotta remember to leave a hole on this side. And here we go. Hi, Lori. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> oh, good. I'm glad I convinced you to start, Darlena. Yay. stop right there and I like to go out at that 90 degree angle 
It just helps. And then I wanna come back in about right here. And then go back to that normal seam allowance up at the top. Whoop, whoop. All right. Guys, we get to put these two together. We're about there. All right. Here we go. Wish me luck fitting this into the lining. Okay. So we want to take our bag. I'm going to bring you up just a little bit, though. Okay, we want to take our bag and put it into the lining. All right. And I want my pocket on the back of the bag, so line up the back pocket with the back of your bag if that's what you want. And you are now going to squish this into there. Hi, Ella from Arizona. Welcome. Now I want an embroidery machine. Yeah. I want every machine possible, please. Sign me up. All right, and then you're going to need to stick that flap in there, too, and get it out of your way. Hi, Sherry. Welcome. So I'm kind of just pulling that flap through to get it out of the way. All right, so this part's just a lot of manhandling. Hi, Valley. Welcome. Okay. Sign me up too, yeah, for reals, right? Okay, so I'm going to flatten my seams. I like to line up my side seams here first, which you know what? I didn't trim off my lining just like I did my, my exterior, the top. I wonder if that's gonna make a difference. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. All right. Okay, got that first. And then I'm gonna come over here and do this side. Woman handling. <laughs> That's more like it, right? <laughs> true, true. Thank you, Jan. It was kind of a crazy color combo, but I think it's gonna work. I think it'll look nice. Very different, but different is good. I'm definitely one of those people who likes to be different. Okay, and then we're going to line all of this up. I do think I don't have that center matched up. Do I? No. Just snipped my center real quick so I can line these two up here and it might be easier. Um, it's not snowing yet, Jan. It might be on the, the forecast though, because it sure is windy and like a storm's blowing in. All 
I want to do a color block handbag. Um, I was thinking I would do a color block handbag with my new Indo Love crazy bright colors. That would be super fun. Drop in lining. Yeah, you could do a drop in lining, go for it. I'm just doing it how the pattern's written but you could always do it a different way. That's the joy of bag making. Change it up. All right. If I ever get a cylinder arm, this part will be a lot easier for me, right? Okay. I'm gonna move the camera to the other side because if I don't, then I just get in your way for this part. Don't look up how dirty my floor is. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're almost done, guys. Let's see. There and there. Remind me to check my bobbin after I did this, after I do this. I know, cylinder arm would be fabulous. I would love one. Oh, what's my seam allowance? Just a minute. Yup. Okay, here we go. Did I show my new tattoo? Yes, Lori, I can. Um, it is my machine. I hate explaining it to people who have no idea what sewing is. I'm just like, if you know, you know. If you don't, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> I say that a lot, don't I? See, you guys catch these things that I say all the time that I don't realize that I'm saying. That's funny. I do say that a lot, though, huh? Well, it's true. Here we go, guys. Thank you, Lori. All right, so I just want to check all of my stitching real quick. And I am going to do a second row right next to that again because I don't want my stitches to pull. So I'm just gonna do another row to the right of the one I just did and then we'll pull this through.
Okay. Let's see what I did, guys. You ready? Kind of my least slash most favorite part. <laughs> this kills my hands. We can do it though. I left a pretty decent sized hole because I knew, you know, it's actually not gonna be too bad. Nope, not bad. I can't believe we did this whole bag in one sitting. I am so happy about that. Whoop, whoop. All right, so all I gotta do, look at that. It's gonna be perfect. Esmeralda is gonna be just a little bit curved on the top, but I think that's okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I freaking love this. Okay, thank you guys. All right, so we are going to just kind of clip things into place real quick up here. And I'm gonna top stitch and then we'll close it up and put our thumb locks on. Yay. Uh, I can't believe we made this all, all at once. Super awesome. I freaking love it. Okay. I really love purple and like mustard together. I think it's such a pretty color combo. Thank you guys. Easy peasy. <laughs> All right, I need to check my bobbin. Okay, oh my goodness. All right, let me check my bobbin real quick and then we will top stitch. Oh yeah, look at that. I started with a full bobbin and I still have quite a bit left so you can do this bag on one bobbin, guys. Oh man, I just dropped it. Maybe not anymore, huh? Seriously, I gotta do something every live, right? I think I still should be fine. Don't drop it, don't drop it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Looking fabulous, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, hold your breath. Here we go. Now, I could do it this way, but I really want my stitching to look nice, so I'm gonna do it the hard way. Here we go. And I need my little scrap scrap piece. I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. Just in case. All right, here we go.
No, I have not made the strap yet. If you guys want me to, I can make the strap if you're not sick of me. I do have time. And I have it all here laid out. Ready to go. Did it. Okay. Okay, top stitching looks good. We are golden. So now we need to just close up the lining. This bag will be for sale on my website if anybody needs to have it in their lives. <laughs> will be on there. All right, please. I have so many bags in my basement. I need to get rid of some. Just close this up as best you can. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna sew that up. Thank you, Brittany. I haven't heard from anybody about it, so I don't know. All right, so come back over here with me. Don't look at this messy room. Just keep your eyes on me, please. Stay focused. <laughs> okay, so here's our beautiful bag. Now we need to do our thumb locks. which go right there and right there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this bag is just, I mean, I'm in love. All right, so here are my thumb locks. So all we do, hopefully, is we slide it in there. Oh, it's kind of thick, kind of thick. Oh, but it fits. Look at that. Ooh, it's nice and snug. That's good. And now I need, just need to make sure it's centered on there. Does that look pretty centered? I think it does. All right, I'm gonna get a screwdriver. My handy dandy little screwdriver. I'm gonna put my other one on too. Esmeralda is thick. 
<laughs> yes, she is. <sighs> She's thick and juicy. All right, come on. Well... I mean, it's a good thing it's a tight fit. It's just going to take me a minute to work it on there. Rebecca, thank you. I appreciate that. I figured this bag didn't need a ton of bright, shiny hardware because it was already so busy. Oh, look at that. Let's see if it lines up. Oh, it's perfect, you guys. I just, I just can't even right now. <laughs> Oh, all right. So let's get these cute little screws out here. Um, Linda, not yet. If there's a big enough demand for them, I do have my supplier ready to give me some. These ones I got from Emmeline and they're very nice. I do like them a lot, but I was thinking of carrying them in my shop. Where do I get my Decaville, Darlena? I ordered my Decaville, a huge, huge roll from Waywack. Um, it was like a 50 yard, 50 to 100 yard roll and it was totally worth it. But there are other places you can get it too in smaller quantities. Super easy. You know, the thumb lock kind of scared me at first. I thought, oh, that's going to be hard to install. But actually, it's really easy, guys. Don't let that part scare you. Waywack just had a cell on it. Awesome. Okay, I will get some thumb locks in my shop. Done. Oh, does Waywax sell smaller cuts? That's great. You need a squishing tool. Yes, Jan, I needed a squishing tool for that for sure. I'm so excited we're finishing this. Oh, okay. There's that. My thumb locks, boom. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> How cute is that? Yes, love it. Okay, so yes, I do have these strut connectors in my shop. I am low on a lot of um, finishes, but I am getting more very soon. It is on its way to me. So let's do our crossbody strap since we're here because why not right and then we'll be done I cannot believe we finished this I am so happy so happy okay here we go nothing fancy about this it's just your typical Crossbody strap with double sided tape. <clears throat> I like to put my double sided tape just to the side of that middle line. It's not down the middle line because I don't want to be sewing through it just in case it makes my needle sticky. So I try to keep it out of my seam allowances. Oh, I'm glad you made it back too. All right, 
And then the other side. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. We did it. We made a full bag. So happy. And it is a gorgeous one. Again, it'll be for sale on my website, along with all my other bags. I have some really cute bags um, on my website. So go check it out if you want. If you want to support, I'd appreciate it. I also have um, a coffee link now if you guys um, were wanting to support me a little bit more. I've got uh, that up for people who wanted to donate because I was asked to do that a while ago. So just FYI, not needed, but appreciated. Well, I'm just kidding. Needed <laughs> and appreciated. Okay. So now I'm going to sew this down. I'm going to go the um, same way down each side so it doesn't twist because I don't want it to twist. Let me just double check here. I had to run to the store for wine. Canada is slipping an extra charge. Whoa, 6.7% on alcohol? That's, yeah, is that an April Fool's joke? That's big. That's a big percentage. I'd be making moonshine. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Ella, thanks for joining. Have a good weekend. You know, sometimes sitting down and sewing a bag is just what you need. I was having kind of an off day and just sitting down doing this has made me so much happier. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Did I cut that already? That's really weird. All right, so now the other side. Linda, I appreciate that. Okay. Bob and check again. I think we're good. I think I had enough. I think one bobbin for this whole bag, you guys. How about that? Yes, we will put all the links up when this video is done for sure. Okay, so I'm going to put my slider on and <laughs> chocolate money. <laughs> Linda, yep, <laughs> thank you, all right, need to go get some of that, more of that Easter candy, I need some Reese's Easter eggs, that's what I need, and some Butterfinger eggs, ooh,
I will probably, after this live, go in and put um, rivets in this strap, but I'm just going to sew it first. I like to do a line of stitching and then do a rivet because I'm just paranoid like that. Okay. Almost done, guys. Let me just finish this strap, and I will put it on and show you what this bag looks like. All right. Here we go. Last one. I know, isn't this a pretty green color? I think it's seafoam green on her website is the name of this um, particular one. If I am remembering correctly. All right, you guys, guess what? We just finished the entire bag. I cannot, I cannot even believe we finished this bag. Here we go. Ta-da! So cute! Yay! <laughs> That's it, guys. That is our bag for today. Thanks for sticking with me and finishing this. Um, I didn't think I would get through it in one video, so I'm super glad we were able to do that. But man, that is a cute, cute pattern. Go, go grab yourself one, sew one up. It really wasn't that hard either. I don't think it's a difficult bag. It's pretty easy. Yay! All right. Thanks for all your love and support, guys. I appreciate you all. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Um, this one will be for sale. Give me like a couple hours to post it if you're interested in it. And we'll post all of the links to everything we talked about down in the description of this video for you to come back and check. And that's it. All right, you guys. We'll see you all later. Have a great weekend. Bye.